the internet will not be exist if there is no computer if there's no if, but the uh, computer will not be exist if there is no man and the man will not exist if there is no being but based on the same logic that's mean Allah himself will not be exist unless somebody else is exist because why you stop there so their logic is broken and they try supposedly and they bring two Muslims and they make them sit in front of them and supposedly Muslims are uh, atheists asking questions but in fact those are Muslims what a nice uh, movie and for sure the Muslims always they are convincing so when the Muslims they say that we believe in monotheism who is the first one who taught Muhammad monotheism if we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Which is a clear proof that Muhammad do not know what monotheism is. This is Muhammad and this is a very authentic hadith. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasir, from Qutada, from, 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 from all the hummus and shish kebab. Uh, a Jewish man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, you are setting up a reviles to God, not to Allah, and associating others with him. <clears throat> Who is saying that? Who is the one is making such a statement is a Jewish man if a Muslim now he called me and he said to me you are uh, uh, committing shirk uh, no we believe in one God so I will refute him right I will I will debate him about it you will notice Muhammad he did not even argue he agree so the Jewish man as we see here a Jewish man he said to Muhammad you are setting up rivals to God and associating others with him you say and he is telling him why whatever Allah wills and you will and you say by the Kaaba this way by the Kaaba. Look at the response of Muhammad. Muhammad, he is the prophet, not the Jew. The Jew is a, just a Jewish guy. Random Jewish guy. Muhammad, he took what the Jew said and he commanded the Muslims to do as he said. So he said to them, so the Prophet commanded them, which means the Muslims, if they wanted to swear an oath to say, by the Lord of the Kaaba, not by the Kaaba, and to say, whatever Allah wills, then what you will. Suppose now Muhammad, he fixed it. If everyone born as Muslim according to Muhammad, then why he had to steal words from the from the Jews? The accusation is very harsh. <clears throat> it is a threat to someone who claimed to be a prophet of God. He did not say to him, you should not say that. He said to him, you are associating someone with God. You are not a monotheist. Muhammad did not even open his mouth, not even for a second, to say, you are wrong. This is not what we are saying. Muhammad, he took what the man he said, and he commanded the Muslims to do as the Jewish man said. So how the Muslims, they say the concept of God in Islam is a monotheism when a Jewish guy is the one who schooled your prophet himself and he made him understand that this is not monotheism
imagine you are a prophet of God and Muhammad he was he was not going to correct himself you know you need to ask yourself okay where was Jibreel all this time where was Allah all this time why Allah did not correct Muhammad Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us in Skype? Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? Any from the Mushrikeen? So when the Mohammedan they say, uh, whatever Allah wills and you will, they are committing shirk. But isn't it this what they say about Muhammad? Whatever Allah will and Muhammad will. In fact, the Quran says whatever Muhammad will is Allah will. Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad. Which we don't have anymore. In chapter 4, verse number 80, it says, He who obey the messenger has indeed obeyed Allah. Muhammad, indeed, the God of Islam. Without Muhammad, there is no Islam, and of course, no Muslim. Muhammad is the God of Islam. We have a Muslim, and the funny, by, by the way, uh, they use, uh, they don't use Muslim names no more. Hmm. Look at this guy saying his name he called himself John Scott Abdul with the name John Scott and you will notice right away how the Muslims they try to divert our topic to speak about something else Christian Prince no false God ever set in the Jewish temple okay if Allah is a true God maybe he is being sarcastic I don't know maybe I get him wrong if Allah is the true God and the Kaaba is his, his house. How could 364 other idols have been there? That's mean Allah is an idol. No? Okay, so I got you wrong. Sorry. No, no, this is not the reason to consider Allah an idol. This is not the reason to consider Allah an idol. But I will give you a different uh, answer. The Muslim, they say, that when a Christian he came with his army, there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of the elephant. A Christian man he came with his army to destroy the Kaaba because the Kaaba is the house of idol worshippers. Allah he sent birds, and those birds they carry rocks, cooked rocks from a clay, and they throw the rocks on the army of the Christians. But look at the story here. Allah did not send his I you know uh, birds to destroy those who they are around the Kaaba worshiping idols as John he said but Allah he sent an army to destroy the Christians who didn't worship idols Do you see how funny Islam is? And then the Kaaba was destroyed many times after Muhammad. Many, many, many times, even by Muslims, even by Shia, even by communists. And none saw one single chicken flying over the Kaaba to protect the Kaaba. Assassin Prince, my friend, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, let me know. If you are not, we don't take calls for now except from Muslims. 
All right. All right. Any Muhammadan? So if you go to the other verse, you will see that the Muslims are not people who worship God. Muslims, they worship a man. His name is Muhammad. They claim he is the servant of God, but in fact, he is God. You see, when you say whoever obey, obey Muhammad, he obey God, that means that Muhammad is a perfect person who never make mistakes. Correct? Because why we obey God? Because he is perfect. You don't make mistakes. Was Muhammad the person who don't make mistakes? The Quran is full of verses saying Muhammad, he was a bad person. Even he received satanic verses. So whoever obey Muhammad, he obey God, for Muhammad is God in Islam. You know, when Moses, he gave the Ten Commandment, he is not telling them that those are from me, obey me. He said, this is God commandment, therefore you have to obey them. Muhammad commandment is coming from man, yet he is equal to his God. There is a video of Zakir Naik. He said that the Hindus' concept of God is exactly the same the concept of God in Islam. And in the video, I wish I can play it for you, but you can search it. He even used quotation from the Hindus' books to prove his point. So the Muslim agree that them and the Hindus, they share the same concept of God. That is very clear proof that Muhammadan, they are trying to hijack Abraham God when they have nothing to do with him. My Skype is open and I challenge any Muslim to prove to me that anything you Muslim you say about the concept of your God is true. Somehow, I feel like the Muslims are copying articles of different religion to explain their God. So when you say monotheism, that is a joke. You don't believe in monotheism. Monotheism, that it is one person in control. But Muhammad is in control. In fact, if Muhammad, if Muhammad he can even block any command of Allah. And he create his own command. As an example, the Quran says you can do muta, which means you can hire a woman to sleep with you in return in exchange for money. And then Muhammad, when the people they start laughing at such a religion, pervert, Muhammad he ban it, then he allow it, then he ban it, then he allow it, then he ban it. Any Muslim can tell us why? Allah make the muta. You can rent a woman, which is proving to us that Islam is a very sexual cult. We can't even call it a cult. It's just a sexual, uh, you know, uh, gang. Okay, Allah allow it. Muhammad, he forbid it. Then Muhammad allowed it. Then he for is that a joke? Hmm. Is 
Is that a joke? Is the law of God? Listen, we are not talking about somebody he came like, okay, between Abraham and Muhammad, there is, you know, a long, long time. So things change. It's, no, we are talking about the same person. 